All right, all right. Well, great evening, great night, depending on where you're at. Uh, Facebook family just want to come online and talk a little bit about uh, our gifts. You know, our gifts. Uh, everybody has gifts. Everybody has uh, talents. Um, some people uh, know the difference between the two. Some people don't. But I want to just kind of just talk a little bit tonight about your gift. You know, making room for you. Uh, we know that. Your gift does actually make room for you, so I just wanted to kind of give a, a few principles on how you can make your gift work for you and how you can start to succeed no matter what you're doing right now currently. Uh, whether you're working or whether you're a business owner, entrepreneur, whatever you're doing, I just want to kind of let you know uh, the basis that you can build your faith on uh, to be able to expand on your gift. Uh, so we have to, first of all, when we start looking at the word gift and we need to really properly uh, define that, if I go and I I look in the word and you know the word says your gift uh, will make room for you matter of fact let me just read it so I won't be paraphrasing anything I just want to read it for you guys so you can get it it says a man's gift make it room for him and bring it him before great men um, so if I just take just that small snippet I just gave you right there where it says your gift will make it room for you and bring you before great men uh, when you're operating your gift there's there no struggle okay I want you guys to really get this whether you're watching it live or you're gonna come back and watch it later I want you to really get this if you're operating within your gift okay there should be no struggle okay there shouldn't be uh, any lack you, you should see uh, things start to expand for you because you're operating in your gift okay your gift you know that's word I mean you got to take the word for what it is okay uh, it says your gift will make room for you so when you look at your gift making room for you you have to make sure that you're operating first of all in your gift okay how do you know you operate in your gift well you will have these certain uh, feelings okay or of emotion when you're operating your gift okay when you operate in your gift it doesn't feel like it's laborious it doesn't feel like you know you don't you don't have these feelings of of not wanting to be there or not wanting to do something or uh, frustration you know you don't you don't you don't get frustrated doing your gift okay if you're gifted in something a lot of us have to reassess what we do uh, for a living or what we do um, you know to make a living and make sure that it lines up with our gift okay because a lot of us you know we always pray I mean we we came to 2020 and everybody's you know praying right now and believing for uh, you know blessings and and starting the new year out right and a really greater year than they had last year and that's great okay I'm not, not there there or whatever you want to call them, right? But here's the problem. Uh, a lot of people go in and they say, you know, I want to get this, but they're still not operating within their gift, okay? So if, if you're not doing what you really want to do and you're not passionate about doing it, then guess what? Your gift is not going to make room for you. I mean, meaning that it's not going to bring you for the great men. What, what are the great men that the Bible speaks of? What are the great men? The great men are the people that's going to come into your life that's going to elevate you to your next level or to your, your higher self, meaning it's going to uh, take you to that next level in life where you can be able to now expand on what it is that you do. Okay, if you're not and you're not seeing growth or you're not seeing ex expansion in what you're doing, then you're probably not operating in your gift. And a lot of you might say, well, you know, I, 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 you know, I'm pretty good at what I do. That's talent, okay? Anybody can be talented, okay? Few are gifted, okay? And here's the deal. Once you actually unlock your gift, all right, so your gift will actually make room for you, and it will open up doors that was previously closed for you. Okay, that's the word. Okay, so your gift will make room for you, and it'll bring you for great great men. But here's what I want to do. I want to I want to kind of talk a little bit not on just your gift and how you unlock your gift, but how do you truly find out what you're gifted in? Well, first of all, uh, if you read, I don't know if you guys read this book, but I read this book. Uh, Think and Grow Rich. Okay, and it tells you some things, it gives you some principles, but it says that to have a certain level of imagination okay and a lot of people think imagination is like pretending something you know you gotta have a vivid imagination and we really didn't understand what people were talking about when they said it. we just thought you had to be pretending that something was going on well uh, on the contrary imagination okay imagination is actually one of the forces that you use to be able to unlock your gift okay 
Example. Well, here's the deal. When you, when you get a thought, you get an impulse, you get something that, that you're passionate about, and you, you say, you know what, that's something I really, really would love to do. That's your inner voice. That's the inner you speaking to you saying, hey, listen, David, my name is David. I'm speaking to myself. David, that's what we're really su supposed to be doing, okay? That's what we're really su supposed to be doing, so let's do that, okay? So if your voice is telling you that and you're getting those hunches, you're getting those feelings, you know, maybe you say, you know what, I'm working here currently, but really my mind, I want to do this. Well, that's probably what you're gifted in. So, you know, you may have a temporary situation where you're working somewhere and you have to do You should always be focused in on your gift, okay? Don't settle for something that's not in line with your gift, okay? Because that then all of a sudden the expansion doesn't come. You know, the expansion, the, the making room or, you know, getting wealthy or whatever you want to call it, successful, that comes only when you're operating within your gift, okay? Now, here's the deal. A lot of people, okay, are good at what they do. And like I said, that goes back to talents, okay? Because here's the deal. If I do something for a, a long period of time or if I do something repetitiously for a period of time, I'll get Okay, so no, how get talented? Okay, I can get talented. I can pick up a basketball and be able to make eight out of ten shots, but that's talent. Okay, a gift is being able to play in the NBA. That's a gift, right? Because they're gifted to do that, right? So here's the deal: when you look at talent, okay, and you look at gift, there's two different sides to that. Okay, now here's the deal: when you look at your imagination, let's go back to that for a minute. Your imagination. Now, imagination is not pretending something imagination is actually looking inside you know developing your gift okay your voice will start to tell you what am i gifted in what am i what am i okay people get that confused okay calling really doesn't have a lot to do with ministry okay people think that when you say you know i'm in my calling that it always has to do something with ministry it can be okay it can be ministry but also it can be you know your calling can be another career or another business or another whatever okay and you have to figure that out and how do you figure that out you figure it out by using your imagination okay it's those flashes those hunches it's those those sudden thoughts that come in and say hey let's do this Hey, you know, that's interesting. I would love to do that. Or, hey, you know, that, that looks like that that would be fun to do. If your voice is saying that to you, that's your inner person telling you, hey, you know what? You have a talent. You have a gift over there. Let's let's explore that, okay? And so here's the deal. You have to focus in on what it is that you want to do, okay? Here's the deal. It doesn't matter right now your current circumstances because a lot of people will focus on their current circumstances. And what they'll do is they'll let their their circumstances keep them from getting to where they truly are called to do okay or gifted to do okay or have talent in and they can develop that talent into a gift okay now i want to go back for a second because i do want to talk on this okay because here's the deal ideas okay ideas ladies and gentlemen are the basis for developing your gift okay when you have an idea you have to write it down it says write the vision make it plain so you can what see it you can you can feel it you can get those emotions and then you can run with it okay you can't run with a vision that's not written down and, and a vision before it's written down the first thing has That's the ideas. That's those hunches. That's those flashes. That's your, yourself talking to yourself saying, you know what? This is going to be a great idea. Write this down and let's find a way to make it happen. Okay. And here's the deal. A lot of people say, well, you know what? Due to my current circumstances, I can't make that happen. Okay. Well, here's the deal. You don't have to have the resources now. Okay, that's what God's here for. Okay, He's here to do the impossible while we do what is possible. What is possible? What is possible is writing it down, making it plain. Okay, having faith. Okay, we know without faith it's impossible to please Him. So here's the deal: we're not actually mandated to know how everything's going to work out. We actually are called and purpose to have faith. Okay, when we have faith, God does the impossible while we do what is it what's possible. So stop, you know. So stop looking at what's going on right now and focus on what it is you want to do.
Okay, I was always taught, you don't look at circumstances, you look at the goal. Okay, you look at the goal. Because if you're looking at the goal, whatever's on the side of you and whatever noise is happening, all the people that's telling you can't do it and all the situations that's coming up, money problems, uh, relationship problems, kids problems, uh, whatever's going on, okay? You're not seeing that because you have a clear picture of where you're going, okay? If I told you today, if I told you today that by the end of the year, you'll be a millionaire, okay? All you had to do was just go through the normal process of life, but by the end of the year, you're a guaranteed millionaire. I promise you, you wouldn't worry about what's going on in your life. You would be so focused on, on getting to the end of the year. Whatever I have to do, I'll borrow, I'll, whatever I got to do to get to the end of the year, I just need to get to the end of the year because I know I'm going to get blessed. Well, that's the way it works. That's how faith works, okay? Faith is what? The substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So we know that here's the deal. Sometimes you may not see it here physically, but your spirit already knows that it exists. Your, 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 your spirit man is already there. It's already in the in the present, okay? He's already looked there and said, you know what? This is where we're going. So the mere fact is saying this is where we're going, all you have to do is tap into your faith and say, okay, by my faith, I'm going to believe that this is where I'm going. I'm not going to worry about the journey i'm focused on the destination okay because here's the deal if you think about it when's the last time you took a trip okay you took a trip and you took a flight and you went from one city to the next or you went from one country to the next you were focused on a destination you weren't really focused on the journey okay the journey was probably three four hours whatever however long it took or whatever but you were focused get me to my destination okay it doesn't matter how many mountains the the, the many cities, you know, whatever. Some, some of y'all even take naps on the I don't do it, but some of you guys even take naps on the, on the plane because you know, hey, listen, eventually I'm going to get to my destination. Well, that's the way it works. When you're operating in faith, you're operating in your gift. I'm more concerned about where it is I'm going than what's going on. OK, and so when I look at this, OK, I looked at the word, I went back and, and, and I looked and I said, you know, let me get a little bit more clarity, because when, when, you know, some people, a lot of people quote the scripture that your gift will make room for you, but then don't really explain what that means. Well, it says even even though we said your gift makes room for you, another translation said a gift, a man's gift makes room for him. But it says it opens the way and ushers the giver into the presence of the great. So it says it ushers the way and it and it brings people that's going to give you great things see see the thing about it is when you're operating in your gift okay and your gift is making room for you all of the things you're looking for will naturally attract themselves to you all you gotta do is operate in your gift okay whatever your gift is just operate in your gift and it's gonna naturally it's gonna naturally what draw itself to you okay I promise you. I mean, I remember when I was actually, you know, uh, um, just learning some things and and going in, in, into my one of my previous careers, and and all of a sudden, you know, I say, you know, at first I tried to do it on my own and 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 use my own strength and my own power. But when I finally tapped into what I was truly gifted for, meaning that what what came to me naturally, that I didn't have to do a lot of effort, and I just started using what was naturally put inside of me, what God had already put inside of me. That's when I saw seeing that. Oh, you know what? This is. It's not, it's not, it's not as hard as I thought. It's not, it's not, you know, as taxing as I thought. Now, all of a sudden I started to enjoy it. And now because I started to enjoy it, it wasn't work anymore. It was really fun. Okay. It was fun. It was like, I don't care what, what the results are. I'm having so much fun doing this that now all of a sudden my natural gifts and natural talents take has you know took over and now all of a sudden people were starting to draw to me people would just ask for me people wanted to deal with me only and it wasn't because of anything i was doing it was because i was operating with my gift okay see when you're operating with your gift you don't have to do all the work because guess what you, you you're gonna put those vibrations out there okay your spirit is gonna go out there and it's gonna draw like-minded people it's gonna draw people that have the same type of spirit the same type of ambitions the same type of courage the same type of will the same type of fire that you have and guess what your job now has become easier because you're operating in your gift Okay, the reason why I wanted to come on is because I, you know, I had this to share this with uh, some people. It's a very important that you recognize and operate in your gift. Okay, recognize what your gift is. Look it up. Here's the: if you don't know what your gift is right now, 
just, just sit still and listen because the things that keep coming up over and over again, those ideas that keep coming up over and over again, those circumstances that keep coming up over and over again, and it keep put, you know, being put right in your face again. Like, you know, I want to do this, 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 and you keep trying to ignore it and say, well, it's not the right time, not the right time, but it keeps coming back up, keep coming back up. Everywhere you look, somebody's doing it or whatever. That is you, okay? That's your spirit speaking to you saying this is what you're gifted in. And as soon as you accept that and you start operating in your gift, then guess what? All of a sudden, you're going to see that shift. You're going to see the shift in your mindset. You're going to see the shift in your finances. And all of a sudden, like, like the Bible said, your gift will start to make room for you. That's when all of a sudden the door. Okay, the doors will start to open, and all of a sudden, when doors start to open, now all of a sudden, all you have to do is walk through them, and, and the the journey, okay, is not as hard as you trying to work your talent. Okay, if you just tuning in, I was talking about gifts and talents and everything like that, but when you're working your talent and you're doing something that you're not truly gifted in, and you're just working just to be working, then it it it, it bogs you down because it's not your gift. Okay, but when you know what your gift is, what you do is you use your gift. And your gift will start to make room and open doors for you. And it says that it will lead you to great men. Okay. Who are the great men? Those are the people that's going to take you to the next level. Okay. Those are the ones that's going to give you the promotion. Those are the ones that's going to help you start that business. That's the one that's going to give you that loan. Whatever it is you desire to do, that man, that woman, those great men, great women that the Bible speaks of, they're going to come when your gift starts to make room for you. How does your gift make room for you? By you writing the vision down, making it plain making sure that you're running with it making sure you're in alignment and when you're in alignment and when you're making it plain and when your gift is making room for you those great men those great women will start to show up in your life and there's nothing you can do to stop it okay once that starts to happen and the, and that momentum starts to happen and all of a sudden you've got those vibrations out there and your spirit of man is going out there and it's, it's opening those doors and doors are opening and people are starting to see what you do and they say man that, that person is gifted have you ever said that before you say man that guy he got a gift you know he has a gift at doing that it just it's natural that woman she really can bake it's a gift it's natural well guess what that's what she was he or she was created to do okay and because that's what they were created to do it comes natural and if it comes natural it's probably your gift Okay, if if what you're doing right now currently, okay, and no matter what your career is, what you, you work for somebody, you manage somebody, your business owner, whatever, entrepreneur, if what you're doing now currently doesn't come to you naturally, then it's probably not your gift. Okay, I don't want anybody to take that the wrong way. I'm just speaking because I'm just flowing. If it doesn't come naturally, it's probably not your gift. But it, it comes naturally, then guess what? It's your gift, and now because it's your gift, all you have to do your gift open those doors stay right where you're at right say you know what right now i'm currently at this level right here okay by the end of the year i want to be at this level right here you make it plain Hey, right now I'm making forty five thousand. By the end of the year, I'm going to be making sixty thousand. Right now, I have this position. By the end of the year, I'm going to have this position. Okay, you write it down, you make it plain, and then guess what? You run. What does run mean? Run means doing what other people won't do, so you can have what other people won't have. Okay, what does run mean? Run means getting to work early, not right on time. Run means staying a little bit later, not leaving as soon as you can. Okay, run run means doing a little bit more work than what's required because you want a higher position okay higher position has higher responsibilities okay i've been there i've been at the bottom been at the top matter i can tell you about the bottom i can tell you about the top and both of them you know have their own uh you know their own uh responsibilities but i'm telling you right to the next level that God wants you to go to, the next level you design to get, you have to do more work. You have to put more effort in. You have to believe more. Like, like the Bible is impossible, okay? It is impossible. When it says impossible, that means he's, is he's not wavering, okay? So if your faith is wavering, okay, now you're not pleasing God. And because you're not pleasing God, now you're not operating in your gift okay now send your capacity is down and when your capacity is down now what happens if you're not operating your gift and you're not operating in the spirit then you start operating the flesh and then all of a sudden you try to do stuff your own way and guess what I i'm just gonna say this very humbly okay whatever you've been doing your own way has gotten you to where you are right now so if you're not where you want to be the only person that we can blame is ourselves. okay so 
just wrapping this up and just you know just bringing this to a close this was really impromptu uh i was actually reading up on this and i was studying this and i just wanted to share with you guys whoever was listening whoever hops in hops out it doesn't matter matter i just want to speak to somebody because there are some people out there right now that are confused they don't really know what their gift is they don't know what their calling is they don't know what they're supposed to be doing they just think that you know hey let me just do whatever it is i'm doing right now for you know however long it lasts and if it lasts it lasts that's great if i live here that's great if i do this that's great but here's the deal that's not how god designed it he gave each and every it says he gave each and every one of us a measure of faith how big is that measure? We don't know. Some people have more faith than other people. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, but everybody has their measure of faith. Because you have your measure of faith, you have your own capacity that you should be working in, that you should be operating in. So I just wanted to say that, guys. I'm not going to stay on here very long because I do have to uh, get back to work and do some more things. Uh, entrepreneurship does not sleep. But I just want to drop that quick word. Are you operating in your gifts? Okay, if you're not operating your gifts, then guess what? You need to check it out and make sure that you write your vision, make it plain, so that you can start running with it, guys. So, uh, you know, I always like to, you know, end everything I say. You know, eyes have not seen, you know, ears have not heard, nor enter in the heart of, you know, man, what God has in store for you. So you don't know what God has in store for you. So stop limiting yourself. Don't put any limitations. Uh, go for it all. Be the best you that you can be, and go out there and make it happen. Okay, somebody's counting on you to be successful. Somebody's counting on you to break the mold. Somebody's counting on you to break the ger generational curses. Be that one, okay? Why why couldn't it be you? Why why you why can you be that one, okay? Somebody's counting on you because here's the deal. If somebody doesn't do it, okay, it won't be done. Okay, so somebody has to be the forerunner. Somebody has to be the leader. Somebody has to be the, the, the person that's going to be ambitious and get out there and make it happen. And guess what, guys? If that's you, make it happen, okay? Don't stop. Don't quit. Don't settle. You know, do what you got to do. You know, run harder. Do more. Uh, you know, more, write more. Read more. Listen to more. Do whatever you got to do to get better, guys. So I want to say good night to everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Be blessed.